Hi, and welcome to today's training video. Today we're going to talk about transferring calls in Bridge Operator Console for Ring Central. So when we have a call that we are engaged with and we want to transfer the call, we have several different options. Um, two basic ones that allow us to do transfers without leaving the main display area are each item in the company directory has a quick transfer, which is a blind transfer button right on the grid itself. This would quickly transfer that call uh, to the endpoint without really knowing whether or not they're available to take it. It's just a quick way to move the call. Um, another option would be to transfer using the freeform text box where we can put any number we want in the box and either blind transfer to that number or do a consult transfer to that number where we would speak with them first, let them know about the caller, uh, and then decide whether or not to complete the transfer. So those are available on the main screen itself. Uh, for more complex transfers, what we would do is we would simply click on the user, opening up this user pane. And the call control section, which is right under the user information, is going to contain several different kinds of transfers. So one of those uh, here with the green is the blind transfer. That's the same thing back on the main page under the quick transfer. It just simply transfers the call regardless of whether the user knows it's coming or not. Um, next to that is the consult transfer, which will make our, a call to, in this case, Susan Larson. It will let us speak with Susan, announce the caller, uh, and then let Susan decide if she would want to take that call or not, in which case um, what we would do is simply click complete or abort. So let's just show that in practice. So this call goes out to Susan. She answers, and we can kind of see that behind here in our calls. So now we're, as we speak to her, we can decide between us if she's you know going to take this call or not. So if she is, we can complete it. If she can't, we can click abort, and then that call you see comes back to us. So we have that call. And now we can do different things if we like. Um, so some of the other transfers that are available to us are a transfer to mobile. <clears throat> this would be handy if the user um, is not using the Ring Central app on their mobile phone, or perhaps they're in a spot where they can't get uh, enough data coverage, but they can still take a voice call. Um, those are options to transfer there as well. We can skip over the ringing and transfer right to the user's voicemail if they are um, you know, unavailable and we know that and the caller would like to go to the voicemail. Um, that can be done right here. Um, and similarly, we can do some park functions that do announcing um, with call park and a message. Uh, and there's one other option that's available. Let me just show the blind transfer. So let's transfer this call away. So now Susan's got that call. Um, if someone is already on a call, we're presented with an extra option for transfer. Um, and I'm going to show that as soon as this rings in here. So um, as the call comes in, they want to speak with Susan. Um, we can see Susan's on the phone. Uh, but when we click her, now we'll have another option. It says the user is currently on a call. Uh, would you like to just transfer it when they're available? And you can also notify Susan via a message that she will receive this call as soon as her current call finishes. So let's select that. <clears throat> what that'll do is it'll mark the call pending transfer in our heads up display area, letting us know. Um, and it also sends a message to Susan about the caller, which she is responding to now. So using the ring central messaging architecture, she can reply eh, and she's got it. So, Let's watch Susan as she leaves this current call that she's on, which she's doing right now. And without us doing anything, this call has been transferred to her. So it was just kind of queued up in the system watching it until she became available, at which point it transferred it to her. And now she's got that call. So thank you for joining today and learning about the various different kinds of transfers offered in Bridge Operator Console for Ring Central. Be sure to subscribe for more training videos to come. Thank you and have a wonderful day.